There's no way I'd ever even go near a volcano. And now on a fairly regular basis, I voluntarily enter a volcano. And you have done the same thing. Not only have you voluntarily entered a volcano, you actually paid for the privilege of doing it. But the good news is you'll at least be able to leave here and, and talk about it later. And seriously, I hope you enjoy being in here. You get to see some things that you otherwise would not see, kind of the inside plumbing of, of the volcano. And I'll point those out as we go along. Now, the volcano I'm talking about is Mount Mazama. And to visualize Mount Mazama, you look around here at the rim. It's roughly four miles by four and a half miles by six miles, something like that. That was the outside of Mount Mazama. Mount Mazama was about 12,000 feet high. The lake level is about 6,200. So a little over one mile above us would have been the summit of Mount Mazama. So as you can see, that was one massive mountain we're talking about. And that mountain has disappeared from the face of the earth. Uh, that summit is now below us. We're floating on a lake that is on top of that summit. And as we go along, I'll describe a little bit about how Mount Mazama was formed and a little bit about how Mazama ended up collapsing. But as you go along, you might just notice the different layers here. Mount Mazama grew over about 420,000 years, erupting on average about every 10,000 years. 